Like, how is this even our life? Life these days. She's supposed to be here right now. Looks a lot like reminiscing her sisters, Tammy Hammonds and Karen Young. I like that one too. In 2017, doctors first diagnosed their mom, Denise Brody, with breast cancer. She went into remission, but two years later, the cancer came back, this time attacking her lungs. The decline was so rapid. Are you comfortable? After years of on and off hospital extended stays and chemotherapy, the cancer had cleared. But Denise somehow was still sick. The family had new doctors run new tests again for everything. Karen recalls doctors determining her 65-year-old mom was dying, but not from a malignant mass. Then they end up calling us, telling us that she's not going to beat this. You, you need to take her off the ventilator and she's not going to make it because she has HIV, she has AIDS. Denise died April 2nd, 2022, and based off her blood work. She was in full-blown AIDS after having untreated, undiagnosed HIV for at least five years. The person who gave it to her was not unknown. Criminal records allege it was her husband, Cleveland Brody. Mr. Brody, you are charged uh, at this time with assault count of reckless conduct, HIV infected person. It is a felony charge. Would you like the court to read your warrant aloud? Okay. The warrants read, this was no accident, instead intentional. Detectives claim medical files reveal Brody knew of his status since 2006. The charging documents cite Brody did endanger by consciously disregarding a substantial and unjustifiable risk that his act or omission of not telling his wife his status resulted in her death. How long have you lived in Conyers? Ten years. Inside the courtroom on July 11th, Denise's entire family anxiously watched the bond hearing. I am going to deny bond, finding you a risk of flight. Outside the courtroom, they breathe a somber sigh of relief. For a case that only came after the family's investigation led to Rockdale County Sheriff's Office doing its own. I do not think my mother was the first. As the hearing wrapped for one charge, Prosecutors filed another. New warrants detail a second victim just accused the 61-year-old of not disclosing his status and having unprotected sex with her. What's more, the sheriff's office says investigators have reason to believe there are other victims. If Brody were convicted of felony reckless conduct HIV-infected person, he would only face up to five years. It used to be up to 10 years, but advocacy groups like George Equality fought to change the law last year with SB 164 to decriminalize and destigmatize HIV status. But the group argues this new law wasn't intended for cases like Brody's, who police say knew his status and had criminal intent. So the particular instance in which someone would be arrested and charged with HIV transmission without disclosure was very, very rare. Georgia Equality's HIV policy manager and former prosecutor Chauncey McGathery maintains most often HIV spreads because people do not know their status. Georgia ranks second in the country for new HIV diagnosis. The metro area is of specific public health concern. Fulton sits at the sixth highest U.S. county for new cases. People aren't dying from HIV in AIDS. Like, this is not a death sentence, especially in 2023. Absolutely, and that's critical information. It did not have to be a death sentence for Denise either. If he had just gave her that one courtesy just to tell her that, you know, to test herself for it and that that could be it. And she could have gotten treatment. 